everybody, this is Dave, and today we're going to talk about plot points and perils in the Pulp Alley Skirmish game. Before we go any further, please take a moment and click that like and share and subscribe button for us. I think when you, when you play Pulp Alley, you find that you have a lot more to do, a lot, a lot more fun you can have in the game than you do most other skirmish games because you also have challenges to overcome and the most common types of challenges are plot points and perils. In the example today we have a pair of adventurers going into an ancient Peruvian temple and they're gonna have to face all kinds of challenges in their quest for fortune and glory. So let's take a look at the two characters. We have the leader, we're going to call him Indy. He has three abilities, Clever, Savvy, and Nerves of Steel. He is level four. Uh, and then he also has his sidekick. His sidekick uh, is level three, and he has two abilities, Shrewd and Sharp. So those are the two characters that we're going to be talking about and, and we're going to talk a little bit about the different challenges they face as they go through this, this temple. First off is there's several different types of perils that you can run into. One of them are called traps and one of the things that makes traps kind of interesting is that they can, the, the first character that goes through it, if that character passes the, the challenge, then that can temporarily deactivate that perilous area for, a, for a, a limited amount of time. You know, some perils can have a predetermined uh, value, a predetermined challenge number that you have to roll against, and some perils are going to be random. Now, Indy's challenge uh, here requires two successes with cunning or might. He's got four die ten. You know, leaders are supposed to be able to do this sort of stuff, so he gets across it. Now, when, when his sidekick attempts to go across the perilous area, he's going to draw a different challenge, and that's because things can change. He needs two successes with might or finesse. Oh no, he only got one success. He got an eight, but with his sharp ability, he gets a reroll, and he got it. That was close. That was close. So he made it with his reroll. Even with two characters doing the exact same thing, the challenge was different. It was still drawn randomly, one after another, and even there, from one moment to the next, things can change. So at the start of the next turn, they find themselves at another perilous area to clear. Yep, that's a perilous area, all right. So uh, once again, Indy is going to activate first here, and he's going to try to go through the perilous area first. Whenever you put a plot point in a perilous area, you want to decide ahead of time whether or not that's, that's going to be the peril for that plot point. Or if, if, or if that plot point has a completely different peril. And you can do it either way. It really depends on how dangerous you want that plot point to be. Now for this, we're going to just say that the perilous area was the peril for the plot point. So now he can go straight on to doing the plot point. So uh, he's going to draw a, a random card to, to do the plot point. He's got to he's got to weigh out his sand here. He's got to he's got to take some of that sand out there because remember everybody, sand is heavier than gold. So you want to you want to just you know a smaller bag there. So he needs two successes with minor finesse, and he got it. He got it. You know, leaders are almost always going to pass challenges. They are designed to do that sort of things, unless it's a, a three. Uh, challenge that those will even give leaders a hard time so at this point that's that's all the time we have for today uh, you may know how this turns out maybe you don't but uh, I don't want to spoil it for you have fun go in and watch this if you have any questions about perils and plot points please leave them in the notes below um, we love hearing from you guys, and while you're at it, please click that like and share and subscribe button for us. That's all for today, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.